Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Christy, and this is Homelink 5.4 Mixed Number Edition. So, the directions say solve the number stories, use a different strategy for each one. Okay, number one. The art class had a box filled with balls of yarn. The students used six and two-thirds balls for a project. There are now two and two-thirds balls left in the box. How many balls of yarn did the art class start with? Hmm, let's see. Well, they used six and two-thirds balls for the project, and they now have two and two-thirds balls left. So, let's fill in the whole box. So what do you think the whole is? The whole is ball of yarn. That's the whole, because that's what we're counting, right? So the number model with the unknown, that's gonna be an addition number model, six and two thirds plus two and two-thirds equals, and let's just say it equals B. We'll call it B for balls of yarn. That will be our unknown. Okay, so one way to solve a mixed number addition problem is, well, how about if we draw, if we make six balls of yarn, kind of look like pizzas, right guys? One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, and then two-thirds. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to make two-thirds. So two-thirds, right? Six and two-thirds. I guess we'll shade all those in since I shaded... My two thirds, and then we're going to add two and two thirds. So we're going to add two more holes one, two, there's one, two, and then two thirds. Well, I've got one third here, and then I'm going to shade in one of these thirds like that. Hmm, so that looks about right. So let's see how many balls of yarn we had to start with one, two, three, four, five, six seven, because that's a hole now, eight, nine, nine holes and one third. Nine and one third balls of yarn. There. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's go to the next one. Mrs. Myers is growing vines along the sides of her house. On the west side, the vines are two and four tenths meters tall. On the east side, the vines are five and eight tenths meters taller than the ones on the west side. How tall are the vines on the east side? Okay, so let's fill in the whole box first. So a hole, what are we counting? Two and four tenths meters, five and eight tenths meters. So we're counting meters. So a hole is gonna be one meter. That's a hole. So if the ones on the east side are five and eight tenths meters taller than the ones on the west side, then we have to add five and eight tenths plus two and four tenths to equal, well, let's have it equal M. M for meters, right? Okay, so this time, instead of drawing pictures like we did up here, let's just add the numbers. Let's try that. So five and eight tenths plus two and four tenths equals, well, five 
and 2, add that together, and that equals 7, right? 5 plus 2 is 7. And then 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is 12, 7 and 12 tenths. But look, 12 tenths, that's an improper fraction. Remember we talked about that today? So how many tenths makes another whole? 10 tenths. 10 tenths makes another whole. So this equals 7 plus 10 tenths plus 2 tenths. That equals 1, right? So 7, 8, 8, and 2 tenths meters. And if we were being really fancy, and we wanted to simplify two tenths, and we noticed, oh my gosh, look, two tenths. There is a common factor of two tenths. Do you know what it is? It's two, that's right. Two divided by two is, wait, I'm putting an equal sign. Two divided by two is one. 10 divided by two is five. So it's eight and one fifth meters. But it's okay if you don't do that part because we haven't really done a lot of that. All right. I'm going to simplify because you should always simplify, but it's okay if you don't because I know we haven't done a lot of that. So, all right, so here, add, show your work. 5 and 2 6 plus 3 and 1 6. So, let's add the whole numbers first. 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 6 plus 1 6 is 3 6. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Hang on. 